Hello everybody and welcome to the new video on the channel. Today we're going to look at something that is really very interesting and might be even hard to specify what kind of game it is. I'm talking about the game Neon White and before we're going to dive deep into the world of this crazy game that is released on PC and Nintendo Switch, I would like to ask you to check if you're subscribed to our channel, have a look if you already clicked like on the video, you can always take it away if you're not gonna enjoy the video, but most of the time it says that 50% of the viewers forget to click it in the end. So we'd like to ask you to click it in the beginning. Anyway, let's start. Describing Neon's wise genre might take a really difficult and really a lot of time. Why? Because it looks like a speedrunning, FPS, parkour, kind of deck builder kind of game. It sounds really crazy, yeah, but believe me, it is crazy not only sounding, but in the way how you play it. Neon White is the latest game from Donut Country, it is creator of Ben Esposito. He is the Angel Matrix team build the level design of the first person shooters as for freaks for freaks. They're not wrong either. Despite some rough narrative moments and occasional hissips, Neon White is a blazing fast shooter with the style of precision and a lot of dead demons nailing several of these moves in a row that will complete the most of the levels and late sequences look like a nearly incompetent blur of gowns and special abilities, but each individual action is relatively simple. Always, almost, you're beating down in the moves in the first direction. The result is the west and intermediate levels. So, continuing on, the speed and the agility of Neon White might take it seems unacceptable, but even harder to obstacle the curses of the design and overcome. Completing the level isn't the end, of course. On repeated runs through the level, the game actually shows you one of the major shortcuts, Vital, to get the Ace, a medal awarded for the finishing particularly quickly. The shortcut is really just the beginning, in a tiny optimization in ammo usage and parkour pathing. You can take even higher than ace rank, and just as motivated as in the game medals as overboards for your friends and whatever. Neon White lost the taunt you with the friends best times. More than once, I thought I had done the level as quickly as anyone possibly could do it, but then I'm seeing my body finished it like 2 seconds before, and this is actually where the fun begins. If you love the speedrunner games, then this is something for you. It's the guns where the neon white shines the most to be honest. You pick up a firearms via cars that is thrown inside of the level, each having a two functions. The first one is simply shooting, the second however is discard option, which guarantees the wide as the brief platforming advantage. Discarding pistols gives the double jump, shotguns blast you in a direction you're facing, fire rifles are directly forward, SMGs send you hurtling towards the ground and the rocket launches gives you proper shot. It's actually a very interesting how can you combine all these weapons and kind of like a deck level card design game. Levels demand the mastery of all these options. You must run, shoot, jump and use the discard at the priestly right moment to reach your destination while also killing the demons in the level. I love trying to retelling the levels over and over until I finally combine the moves and correct. And then I loved even more trying to whistle my time to the down the A score. My heart was often firmly locked in in my throat as I crossed the finish line, and few things I feel better than besting my literal times of the second. Nailing several of the moves in the row really, really very necessary to complete the moves, and each individual action relatively and almost always boiling the move in the direction. The shortcuts is really just the beginning, the tiny optimization in ammo usage for curb pathing can take it to the even higher race anon. And believe me, this is cool. Each course includes a hidden gift. These items are placed in between the pass and prioritize creative platforming over the raw speed, offering a chance to slow down and admire the game's ethereal backdrops. The gifts also form a connection between each level are a larger story. Each presents a box of the cigars, a bottle of perfume, a fuel buy, correspondence to a specific supporting character. Best of the game isn't simply FPS parkour deck builder, but also a visual novel. Through an absurd of the conversations, the game reveals the protagonist, White, is one of the several characters temporarily plucked into hell to give them the chance to complete for a place in heaven. Also, there is not so much narrative branching in the story, the hidden gifts unlock the new dialogues and the side quests for the main cast. When the story gets a bit more serious, it's pretty good. 
Neon White quickly goes from demon slaying gags to questions, one that's carry over into the afterlife. If you got some good Kobe vibes, which can make satisfied with Steve Blum in the role of the Neon White, all the most excruciated. Really, the whole voice cast does a really good job across the board, but I didn't feel like the narrative was extremely where Neon White filters a bit. If you're not eager to complete Neon White, it's still fairly finishable without acing every run. There are a few metal hurts to clear how you do it and if you do it in any case. So to rate the game Neon White, which we reviewed on PC, I would say it deserves a great 9 out of 10. It's almost a 10. Why there is no 10? Because my friends keep on constantly beating my score. Anyway guys, to sum it up, I really recommend you to try this game if you like speedruns and just having a fun time where you want to try hard a bit and then you just want to go slow pace sometimes. Great game and I would like to see you in the next video. Ciao.